Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and I wanna do a five minute chicken video about can chickens get frostbite? So come along with me into this winter, I wouldn't call it a wonderland by any means, but good morning everybody. I'm posting an update video as we finish this hellish Texas winter storm. But I wanted to tell you about a very brief experience and some things I've learned in regards to frostbite. So chickens can get frostbite, which is why if you let them out when you've got freezing temperatures, whether it's snow or it's just below freezing, you want to make sure that you give them an area where they can get warm and where they can get dry. Now, of course, I know a lot of people give their chickens the freedom to be out. In other words, you don't have to keep them locked up or cooped up, but you do want to make sure that they've got an area where they can go when they've had enough. And when we're talking about frostbite, frostbite is when the tissue has died, right? It's gotten so cold and it's not getting any blood circulation anymore that that tissue has died. And on any kind of animal or person, we're talking about not their core, not where many of their organs are, but we're talking like their extremities. So we'd be talking the tips of combs, on chickens, those who have, this is Carmen Hen Diego, not like her comb because you can see her comb, which is that red part up above her beak. It's very close to her body. It doesn't actually look like a comb, but those two girls right there, that's Talaria and Miss Muffet, and they have bigger combs. So you would be looking for dying tissue on the tips of their combs, or maybe if your chickens have nowhere to go to get out of the cold, maybe the tips of their toes. And you're looking for the flesh turning black now this is a little bit confusing for me included, which is why I'm out here doing this video, but that tissue, let's continue to talk about their comb and I'm going to try to zoom in on, this is Talaria. I don't know how well you can see, I'm trying to do different angles for you, but the tips of a couple of her combs look black. But if you're looking at a chicken's comb, there's a couple of other reasons why that tissue may turn black. Rarely that can be fowl pox which is a disease that's highly contagious and it's just really disgusting and gross and it makes little scabs all over their comb and waddles and on their face. And that has to be treated with medication, but it can also be just a scab, whether that's from pecking order or they've got that bigger comb and you've just built a new structure like I have. Maybe they, you know, they didn't duck down low enough and they scraped their comb on something. And this is where you have to use a little bit of discretion. So the reason her comb looks really weird right now is because I've actually coated it in Vaseline. Vaseline is a barrier cream, which means it doesn't let any moisture or anything in or out. And while you wouldn't want to use that for a typical wound that needs to heal because it needs air, for frostbite it would be good because it's basically keeping that from spreading. It's keeping any more of the tissue from freezing, from dying. And so she's got that all over her. But to add to this mystery, in Talaria's case, I just pulled out their big feeder. I'm not gonna try to grab it again, but it had like a little smear of bright red blood on it. My guess is that Talaria, even though she looks like she has frostbite and we treated her for frostbite just to be preventative, my guess is that maybe she scraped herself on, you know, maybe going under that chair or somewhere over there, because again, all that is new. They're not used to that. She may have just scraped herself on something real briefly. Carmen Hen Diego, she's really exploring this morning. What is it, girl? Tick, 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 tick. But Talaria may have scraped herself on something and then she went to go eat and she just put like a little smear of blood as she reached in to go to the feeder. So I'm treating it as frostbite just to be careful, but I'm hoping that it's just a scab, but only time will tell. So be watching when you're staying at freezing temperatures. I don't mean it drops down to 32 for like an hour. But if you're staying in freezing temperature, this snow has been on the ground for, this is day four, I think. Be watching, making sure that your hens, <laughs> that their colors are still bright. They're still eating, drinking, doing chicken stuff. You're going on and making sure that their water doesn't freeze. You're making sure that they have a place where they can go when they give up, when they say, all right, time out, I'm, I'm done. I don't want the snow and the cold anymore where they can go in and get warm. My little plastic shelter has collapsed once or twice because of the weight of the snow. There she is. So I've had to come out and fix it and move things and change things, but be taking care of your chickens. And then if you can, just do a little inspection and make sure that you're not seeing any black dead tissue. Again, it's, the diff it's not, you know, dirty feed. <laughs> it's actually frostbite. And unfortunately, if that tissue does die, 
it's never coming back. It has died. It's no longer getting circulation. So there's nothing you can do except try to stop the spread. So I'm going to keep an eye on Talaria. But for those of you who are also dealing with freezing temperatures, try to go out, do a quick little medical check on your birds. You can do it when they're up at night. It's a lot easier to grab them when they're lazy and sleepy and warm than chasing them around the yard. But be keeping an eye out, particularly on their feet and on those of them who have larger combs and larger wattles be looking for beautiful red healthy tissue and not dead black tissue and if you need to cover them all with vaseline okay i'll be back soon stay warm everybody